What is up guys, Minibean75 here, and today I'm back with another episode of Minecraft Creations. This, guys, is going to be the NXT War Games 2020 Arena. I think this looks absolutely awesome. I'm definitely curious to know what you guys think about it. As you can tell, this is really, really small and compact. Obviously because this took place at the Performance Center. So basically what they did is, different to my Raw and SmackDown 2020 arenas, basically... They have like a big curtain that's kind of covering this area where before this was all wide open and the camera just really didn't show that direction very often. They basically have it all completely uh, walled off and then we've obviously got the screen set up so you can see everybody, um, everybody's faces and whatnot for the crowd. So they have three sides to that in here now which looks really cool and then obviously we've got two rings with the whole cage set up. It's really sweet and actually a really cool thing about how they had this set up that I really liked was the cage itself would actually raise and lower. It wouldn't go up and down, but the actual cage part itself would like, it would start, it was, it's hard to explain in, in the, the game, but basically like these sections would flip out kind of like a, like a trap door in Minecraft. They would flip out all the way up, which looked really, really sweet. Um, I believe that this is the, how pretty much how they had it set up, um, inside obviously it's super small and compact and obviously now honestly i wish that i had the roof one block taller just because this gets a little bit too tight really realistically these lights should actually be up at least one more block but then i wasn't able to put all these lights in with all this and i just decided to go like that the only the big reason that it would really matter is if you were to actually stand on top of the cage so i can kind of slide through there if you're going to stand on top of the cage realistically there should be enough room so that um you can kind of see from the outside, but yeah, anyway, I think it looks awesome. I'm definitely curious to, to know what you guys think. Let me get myself back out here. There we go. <clears throat> All right, and here we can take a look at the stage setup, which looks really cool. It looks way different than the stage setup that they had for uh, um, the Raw and SmackDown version when they were doing the shows in here. Basically, what this is, actually, this is just one big screen. Um, but they kind of usually have it cut off like this top section kind of cuts off different than this lower section. And then they have like a big X that's there. I actually have it sticking out just cause I think it looks cooler, but this X itself is actually just part of the screen. Um, but yeah, and then like, I've got the, the dark gray, the black, and then the, the yellow in there because with war games, they kind of had this, like, it was all the NXT colors, but it was kind of this like smoky type camo effect that they would have on the screen for the most part. Like I said, this top one was different, but I couldn't find any good shots of exactly what this looked like other than just saying war games. So I decided to just make the entire screen look like that. I think it looks really, really cool. Like I said, it kind of gives it a kind of a camouflage effect. And for Minecraft, I think that looks sweet. And then obviously we've got the two small little cages that they had set up here. So that when they did the war games matches, they would put people in there before they would go in here and stuff like that. Um, and then our ring area, or our, our ramp, is actually different than what they had before. Um, instead of the ramp going downwards, the ramp actually just goes up flush to the ring. Kind of like an old school WCW or, or AEW now does it. Um, and I actually like those ramps. I think it looks really cool. It just kind of adds like a cool effect, and it always keeps the... Um, the wrestlers kind of always up and everything. Obviously, with these shows right now, I think they do have like a couple fans. I think um, so, but normally it looks really cool because it keeps them. It always keeps them elevated up and kind of where there's always a good view to see them wherever they are. And then our ringside area looks a little bit different, um, just because obviously it's longer. So whenever we do the War Games ones, they've always got the two rings, so the ringside area goes longer. But this is different because they actually have it where. The plexiglass in which this one they also they had plexiglass but they also had like fencing which kind of looked cool um but for the sake of minecraft it would be too much of these bars so i decided to just keep the the uh the glass in but when they come all the way over here instead of kind of cutting inwards towards the ramp it actually comes out flush and then it actually there's actually like a little diagonal area that kind of comes out towards the edge so yeah this looks really cool just i mean obviously it's so small and compact and that was kind of hard to do it um, but I think it looks sweet just for the sake of how different it is. I mean, well, there's a lot of stuff that I've done in here that I've never gotten to do before with a, an arena. So I was really happy with how this one turned out. So, um, yeah. So with that, guys, make sure you hit that like button down below. You have no idea how much that helps me out. If you want to see the time lapse for this video, that is going to be uh, posted on my Patreon account. Um, chances are it will probably get posted tomorrow. 
um, just because those time lapses, the render time and everything like that, they do it does take a little bit of time. Um, I am working on a couple different things to help streamline it so that I can get them out um, hopefully same day, but it all kind of depends on how things work out. And if you want to see the video for next week, make sure you uh, subscribe to my Patreon. That video is going to be posted um, tonight. It'll be a little, probably a little bit after this, but that video is also going to be up tonight on my Patreon account. So you have to join the $1 tier on my Patreon account to be able to see it um, a week early. So like I said, if you want to take a look at that, that's going to be down there. I've got some awesome ideas for shirt designs that are going to be coming out. My brother-in-law, actually, I found out he's really good with that stuff. Um, so he's actually been helping me out with some designs and stuff. So hopefully sooner than later, I'm going to have some shirt designs coming out. And then, it, like uh, I said before, if you want to uh, help support me, um, then you can go take a look at my Patreon account. That link's going to be down in the description. There's quite a few different options. Um, for people to help support me if you want to take a look at my online store that link is going to be in the description and then if you just want to follow me on social media um, then those links are going to be in the description as well I haven't been super super active on social media but I'm going to get back into it and just start posting just random stuff so hopefully you guys are interested in seeing some of that and um, yeah so with that guys I just want to thank you guys for watching have a good one